Look here, folks. Squirrel Daddy has got to get bathed up. Tell him, Squirrel Daddy, you don't like it either. You're not happy. No, you're not clawing on me to get out. You got to do some swimming. Look at it. <laughs> What's the matter, buddy? Look here, folks. He could go up to the shallow end, but it's like he likes the swimming a little bit. He had sticky stuff all over him from eating, eating <laughs> watermelon and stuff. No matter how bad your day is, look down, look here. Look here, folks. You gonna make some crazy squirrel noises? You're all wet. You smell like a wet dog. Get in there. You're doing some swimming. I got, got him some Johnson's baby soup. I put that on him, like the no tear stuff for babies. Gets him smelling good and he gets all fluffed up. Look at his tail. Well, I hope you enjoy the video. I find a smoker in this. And I'll do the giveaway winner at the end. We'll start the video out with Big Man. Look at him. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy. Later, folks. Well, here he is after the bathtub. He's all cooled off. He's in his towel. Look at him. Tell him, squirrel man, you like the bath. Gets you all cooled off and clean. Now you're going to go relax in your house. And have some strawberries. Look at this good boy, folks. What a good boy. Later. Alright, I'm on a different stretch of river now than I have been on. I look, you know, to find as many things as I do. Like the place that I was just on is beat up. I could go there and dig on that Mississippian site all day and hope for one point. I've sifted everything over a seven day period. Go try this area. There's sites on every stretch of the river between every stretch of dam. You just gotta look. You gotta spend a lot of time out here. I'll get back if I see anything. But uh, hey, looks like several hibiscus. Look at that. Big white one there. Man, these things are all over the river. They're growing everywhere this year. Here's one right here. It's the blooms kind of wilted, but there's new buds there all over it. Look at this one up here, man. This is beautiful. Got red. Look at how beautiful that flower is. Man, look at them. Those are beauties. Man, I get to see so much cool stuff. This is awesome being able to do this. Sure beats going to work. In here, I can barely paddle through them. There's bass just laying in these. When I'm going through them, you can just see big bass, the whirls going. But there's some stuff right in here. But it doesn't mean I'm going to find anything. It's looking pretty rough. I will get back to seeing it. I'm not even going to be able to sift on this spot. There's a midden in here. But there's, look at all the wood and stuff. I'll have to wait till the next high water and some of this comes out. That's a pretty nice plank here. It's treated lumber I should take at, but I got too long to paddle. I'll get further down. I think further down here I'll be able to get on something. It won't be like this. Get down and try it. I haven't been on this place for a while and I saw fire rock laying right in front of this log and it's a nice layer. I'm gonna dig here. I got just a month maker in my screen. This is the first basket out of this place. See the fire rock bleeding out? Oh, folks, you're just not even gonna believe this. I was ready to come here. Do you see this point? Oh, folks. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, I about had a heart attack. I bet you can see it from here, it's big. Oh, folks. This is kind of a famous archeological site within a mile of me too. Oh, folks, look, oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, folks, look at this killer. Oh, folks, this is awesome. I was finding pentagonals in here that, oh, folks, what a scorcher. Look at this. Oh, I've been on a roll. I have, oh, well, I'm going to look around in here. I'm going to get my kayak. It's up here. I've been walking along the shore. You can see right in here, I found a bunch of Flint Ridge bird points. 
you can see the kind of eroded bank there. All kinds of stuff, hundreds of artifacts from here up to my kayak. I found a banner stand about right here, a tube one that was broke, but holy crap. Oh man, folks. Man, oh man. Hundreds of points in this little stretch, and then right to my kayak's about where it ends. There's just a small sight here. Oh, that's a knife, too. It's been hafted into a handle. You can tell by the re that is a smoker. All right, here is this point. You can see it has high quality chipping on it. And if you look down that edge, it's lightly beveled. And then you come over here, it's a thin point. See the bevel along this edge? I think this is a dovetail. Um, it's a knife. Um, it's made of a river cobble. Uh, sorry, it's raining. Um, this is a good find. It's got ground notches and a base. Um, I found pentagonals and stuff in there, but also found Mississippian stuff and bird points and all kinds of other stuff and like 20 yards up the shore I found several classic big sandy points so there's old stuff there um, there's old stuff there for sure but that is a beautiful point stinking water I had to leave that'll lighten up that's stained where it was laying in that muck but you can see that bevel down that side it's definitely beveled it's got that beveled look to it nice chipping oh that's nice that's a nice point but you can see, that's why I had to leave. It's all wet out here, and it was thundering, and I didn't want to be on the river. There's not, it's not worth it getting struck by lightning. It just does not, but that's that one heck of a nice find here. And I moved further down the shore after I found this, and I found some more stuff. I'll work on another video. Started getting into weird pottery towards the end. It's flint-tempered, but man, that's, that's a good find. I love it. Later. This stream that was in and why that point was in there. You see there's fly ash and all this other crap in here. But there's cracked up fire rock. And I know there's stuff here but this is all of this rock. This red cracked up stuff's Indian. I saw one little flake. I'll see if I can see it again. And that point. What I'm doing here this this log gets washed in here. It's created like a natural barrier. Lots of boat traffic. It's pushing the rock and stuff right up against it see there's a good layer down in there and of course there's fly ash and all that other crap you don't want but see the fired rock right on the shovel that's cracked up from being in an ancient campfire probably cooking on them rocks these little mussels could lay them all on a bed of hot coals or rocks let's see if there's flakes or an artifact in here this is all I'm doing See, right there's a flake I see immediately. Little flake of like brown chert. Uh, man, I can't believe I got that first basket in here. Yeah, there's a flake of real high quality stuff right here. And another flake of black. Look at that high quality translucent finishing flake and a flake of black or black canola chert man i cannot believe it that made my week that made my week folks well i'll get back i'm gonna do some in here any artifacts i see i will get back to you you see what i'm doing this is all i'm doing anybody can do it i'm nothing special i mean it all you have to do is be able to sift and you're gonna find all kinds of stuff right there's another finishing flake later I moved this log out a little bit. I'll dig right in this area within three strides either way for two or three hours and there won't the layer won't run out. But you see the shore, no one could ever surface hunt this, ever. Maybe if this stuff washes out, I've seen it to where it could be surface hunted, but it don't usually last long. Um, that's why the sifting's so important. You have so many other options can't look one place it's hunted out you can come to a place like this and stand in one spot all day after you find a few points and have a chance at a point an hour that's about what it is all right 
Um, I ended up staying here a little longer. Look at all that material. There's several pieces of rubbed hematite, lots of flakage, a couple little tools, nothing great, but that point is spectacular. First scream in here, man. What are the odds? I'm on a different spot now, further down the river. Right there, Upper Mercer, Coshocton Flint. I found a Jack's Reef pentagonal in here, a little one, made a gray Coshocton Flint. It was real nice. Um, this looks, there's some places, and see, look at the banks. Straight up and down, 12 foot high. Everything that's in them, that's eroded out, is laying right here. See the fire draw? This is what I look for. It's a textbook. But see, there's some stuff washed in here, and it even gets worse farther down. I found a lot of points right here around my boat. Right there's my boat. Probably 50 right in here in an eight yard stretch. Just sifting this stuff laying right here. I'll get back if I see anything. I don't think I'm gonna do, well, I'm gonna do a few screens here and I gotta start a new video, so. Oh, had a good day already, I can't believe it. Thanks for watching, people. This is also a good learning thing here. These are the banks above the beach. All the stuff that's in these banks is laying right down here. Let's see, see the cracked up rock coming out of here? This is not, this is something from a railroad. There's a flake of turt flint right there. That's high quality stuff. Um, you can see the evidence of a fault ro eroding down these banks. For sure. Right there's another little flake. Right up here's another one. See what I mean? Hurry up, but see this? I'll show you this real quick in this video. I'll have a good one for you here within a week. I'll probably take a week off from this and go dig on the dump, but that's a piece of pottery tempered with ground up Flint Ridge Flint. And there's a little bird points in here. I'd say this is the pottery associated with them. Look at it in there. I'll show you this with a good camera. That's three or four pieces of this here. There's a bunch of stuff here in the water, a bunch. All right, here's some of this pottery I was finding. I moved way down the shore from where I found that real smoker point. This is pottery, and I don't think this is, I think this is earlier than Mississippian. I find them little true bow and arrow bird points, these late archaic Riverton ones in there. And you can see this is tempered with ground up Flint Ridge. And I kind of assume that because these Mississippian people there were not using Flint Ridge to make their stuff. The bird point people were. And I'm looking to display stuff out of the bank. This fell out of the bank and there's bird points here too, but there's also Mississippian stuff. But if they were grinding this Flint Ridge up and putting it in this pottery, um, there'd be Flint Ridge points in the Mississippian period, but there's also real old stuff there. I could find a Clovis as high as in banks. You saw the banks, whatever was there for thousands of years in that layer of times laying right on that beach. And it's kind of like putting together an ancient jigsaw puzzle, figuring out what goes to what. This could be Mississippian pottery here. See all this stuff that's leached away. These holes is where it was shell tempered. Um, I don't see any, and that's a piece of shell there. I looked at it under a microscope. This could be a completely different cultural period. Pottery found feet apart, but laying there out of that cut bank. You have to take that into consideration. Um, that point was a shocker today. First screen of the day. Man, hope you enjoyed this one. I enjoyed the day out on the river. Let I'm on my next video. I thought I'd give you a clip of this. Man, I'm getting hammered by these horse flies. This one just bit me three times before I finally landed on my hip waders and I smashed him. I'm gonna have to get out of here. It's gonna start raining, but I got another video. Well, I got another video. Um, I'll show you some of the stuff. This is a Jack's Reef area with bird points. I'm pulling out all kinds of pieces of pottery and stuff. I'll have another video on. I think that point I found is a dovetail. The more I look at it, it, I think it's a dove. That's a good find. But... All right. Um... We're gonna do the giveaway. I have so many clips backed up that I'm gonna I'm gonna do another giveaway for a mouth detector, but it's gonna to have to be in the next video. I'll have too much in this one. And Squirrel Man's gonna get a bath here, so that'll be in here too. But right there we filled our duplicate users and see how many comments. Man, four hundred and ten. We're gonna come over here and now filter duplicate users means 
everybody gets one entry. And it's picked randomly, so everybody has an equal shot. Here we go. Dennis. Dennis, geez. De Decent hammer stone and nutting stone. Cool. Those brakes are sickening, man. And all your viewers appreciate all you do to bring us your good videos. It's so enjoyable to watch them and listen to your commentary on what you find about the peoples who were here so very long ago. Um, I'll read the, the rest of that. Um, Dennis, I want to get through this so we can do. But man, buddy, you won. You won, buddy. I know you comment a bunch, and you're going to get a whole meat, large flat rate box full of stuff, buddy. And we'll do another giveaway here, and not this video, but the next one. So I can really focus in. I found some nice stuff with a metal detector, so we'll do that next video. I don't want to include it because there's such a fine air ahead in this one. But Dennis, congratulations, buddy. I'm so happy you won. Um, I'll get your, I think I got your address, but I'll see. And I'll get this stuff shipped out tomorrow morning. Um, later, buddy.